So McFarland gives us another Wonder Woman, and it is certainly not the traditional or the classic style outfit, but it is from one of the series that was in the comics. And this is the one from the Endless Winter series. Now, if you have this Build-A-Figure series, it's because you, well, you like the outfit on this figure, which is really well done, and it lends itself to some very, very nice paint applications. Esa es la Mujer Maravilla de la serie Endless Winter. Y si tienes esta figura es porque te gusta la escultura, te gustó la colección de esta serie. Y con el esculpido que tiene la figura, se presta para mucha, mucha atención a los detalles y la pintura que merece. Comencemos. Quick reminder, if you have returned to this channel, a like, a comment, and subscribe would certainly help us out. For video purposes, I have already painted the figure. I will now walk you through the steps I took to create the finished look. And to start off with, this peg that is in the center torso is stuck out of package. You're going to have to heat this up and loosen that peg to give it more mobility and that pegs right into the chest cavity. Para propósito del video, ya he terminado de hacer la pintura a esta figura. Ahora sencillamente te llevaré por los pasos que tomé para que logres tener el mismo resultado. Y para comenzar, este perno que está aquí, que detiene aquí el abdomen hacia el cuerpo, está apretado. Tienes que aflojarlo utilizando una secadora de pelo. Y al insertarlo otra vez, Quizás tengas el problema de que se te despinte la figura, vas a tener que hacer un retoque. If you do remove the chest from the abs, you are going to have a trouble putting it back in and you may experience that you are going to damage some of your paint. You'll have to do some touch-ups afterward. So to start off with, I did use the Liquitex as I did in the last video, but this time I used it as a primer to be able to apply the paint onto the figure. As I am not repainting the figure, I am only adding paint apps to enhance the figure. Al igual que el video anterior, utilicé este producto de Liquitex como un primer para poder pintar la figura, o más bien, añadir pintura a la figura. No cambié los colores, sencillamente añadí detalles. So I replaced the lasso, plastic lasso, with a wire to be able to give it a better look and feel. So it's a gold wire lasso at this point. And by the way, I am trying out a new format. I hope you like it. I'm sure you'll let me know if you don't. And the format is as you see it here. A larger image on the right hand side with a full image in the center. And if this works out, then I'll continue doing so. In the meantime, let's continue with the actual process of the figure. Todos los detalles que vemos aquí en la figura, el relieve que tiene el esculpido, son pintados a brocha seca. Los diferentes tonos son logrados también a brocha seca. No hay un aerógrafo utilizado aquí por el momento. Estoy probando un nuevo método, otro formato, con una figura grande al lado derecho y una figura en completo al centro. Si les gusta el formato y si no les gusta, pues yo creo que ya me dejarán saber. Como vemos aquí, Usamos tamilla 24 amarillo sobre los colores amarillos y entonces al siguiente usamos tamilla 27 sobre los tonos rojos, la armadura solamente. So if you read the caption at the bottom, I am using tamilla X24, which is yellow, the transparent yellow over the yellow armor. And over the red armor, I am using tamilla X27. That's what gives it that vivid, very deep red and those deep yellows, giving the metallic look to the armor. Taking 
working on the process with the skirt that she is wearing, I used the same red as a base and I added a deeper red to get into the different crevices on the material. I then went back with a dry brush with a pink to give it that weathered look. Utilicé el mismo color rojo como base que tiene en la falda y entonces sobre eso puse un rojo más oscuro. Regresé con un tono más claro, en un, de hecho un color rosa, para darle esa uh, vista de desgasto a la falda. Now the process repeats itself with the Tamiya paint, the X24 and the X27, over the yellow and red armor. This is a very short video. I'm going to leave you with this as an ending product video, as you've already seen the entire product. I hope that you liked and that you learned something from this episode. And if so, give it a comment and of course, like and subscribe if possible. Se repite el proceso nuevamente sobre la armadura rojo y amarillo con las pinturas de Tamilla X24 y X27. Los dejo ahora con un último video, de hecho es este mismo, porque ya han visto todo el producto. Si te gustó y aprendiste algo, por favor ponle un like, un comentario y, claro, suscríbete si te es posible. Los dejo, hasta la siguiente.